Good morning, Syntax. I always find playing Tetris and watching other people play Tetris quite relaxing. So this week, I'm bringing you some of the footage of me playing a Tetris game on my phone. As you know, I am a, a bit of a Tetris enthusiast, but recently I've been playing less and less Tetris. I've been trying to pick it back up, and here is my attempt to do so. So in this video, I'll give some commentary here and there. Uh, maybe in a future video, if you're interested, I can give you some better organized Tetris tips that I've learned through the years playing Tetris. But today, I think, maybe a calming Tetris game is for the best. So I once watched a video by classic Tetris champion Jonas Neubauer giving people Tetris tips and one of the things he said really resonated with me. He said something like, being good at Tetris doesn't equal to always making the best decision when you are stacking. It just means that you are good at making quick decisions and they do not have to be the best. In the beginning levels, this is less important since you have more time as the blocks come down. But when the blocks calm down faster than your fingers can manipulate, that is when this advice became really useful. Another thing I think about when I play Tetris is to not be afraid of high stacks. It is worth it to save all the lines for a Tetris. It's also just very satisfying seeing the Tetris line and four blocks disappear. This is actually quite a fun experience for me as well because I never watch back my own games. And when you watch back, in hindsight, there are so many better stacking decisions you can make. I have no idea when the Tetris thing with me has started, but like many things in my life, it probably has something to do with the Green Brothers. But since I really loved playing, 
I'm grateful for John for bringing me to the world of Tetris. In the height of my Tetris playing, I used to play on a NES emulator on my computer. The classic version of Tetris, unlike the mobile version I'm playing here, doesn't have a hold spot where you can hold inconvenient pieces. It also doesn't have a preview that allows you to look three steps into the future. You, you only have one preview, and all the pieces are entirely random. So in many ways, modern Tetris is much simpler than classic Tetris. I had to stop playing Tetris on my emulator when the keyboard of my crappy computer gave out and because of that I stopped playing Tetris for a while. Now that I've restarted playing Tetris casually, I really enjoy it.
At some point in the Tetris game, the block starts falling so fast that you physically don't have enough time to maneuver a piece to the left or right edge of the screen. And that's when the game stops for me. That's when survival mode kicks in and I'm no longer concerned about scoring Tetris and more concerned about staying alive. I guess one other thing playing Tetris has taught me is to never give up and that there is always hope. Despite how high the stack you have and how many holes you have in your board, there's always hope. Until there is none. So, I'll keep fighting. Thank you for playing Tetris with me, Syntax. I'll see you next week.